we are ready to proceed into the last main category of drumming, flams. Now, flams are one of my favorite rudiments or figures in drumming. They're, they're a blast to play, but unfortunately, a lot of people never learn how to play flams properly. So we're going to go in detail through the process of learning how to play flams and then apply them to some of the main rudiments in flams that have the most application to a lot of different areas of drumming that you can use in your drumming world. Uh, now a flam, first of all, let's explain that a flam, if you look here on the screen, I, I put up just a flam. So we have a principal note, this is drawn as a quarter note with an accent, that's called the principal stroke, it's played as an accent with a float stroke, just like that. The other small note is called a grace note, and the good thing is, is that you already know how to do, if you've gone through all these videos, you already know how to do um, the motions required to play a flam. Because this small grace note is played just like, it's a tap stroke, down up, just like that, down up. Now, you already know how to do both of these motions, or you should if you practice. And to play a flam, the real craft in flams comes from programming into your hands how to play these two motions together to create just the right sounding flam. So, um, you'll see on the website here, I call this four steps to building the perfect flam. And there's four different preliminary exercises that are kind of like the stroke development exercises in the beginning of the lessons. Uh, but these are specifically for flams. So let's do these. Pick up your sticks, do these with me. Hold your sticks in rest position, about three inches. The left hand is going to play the grace note, the right hand is going to play the principal stroke. So I'm going to lift this up to accent height. Now, the idea of a flam is that the grace note strikes slightly before the accent and they combine together to make this sound. Chut, chut. If I, if I open them up and the grace note's too soon, I'd get put up, put up, put up. That wouldn't be good. Or if I mess up the grace note and play it late and, and I don't hear it, you know, I'd get with a flat flam. It's actually kind of hard to do where the, the two notes strike almost the same time or exactly the same time. You can even play backward flam where the grace note comes after. Those are possibilities for doing it wrong and a lot of people play them incorrectly. So programming into your hands a way to get the grace note and the principal stroke to strike properly together so that you get this chut sound. That's the goal. So the first stroke is called snap stroke flam. If you remember from snap stroke in the preliminary stroke development exercises, we lift the stick up, we stop at accent height, and now when we go down, we're just going to drop both sticks at the same time. Obviously, if I drop them at the same time, this one's going to hit first. It's much closer to the head. It's a relaxed tap stroke. This is an accelerating accent stroke. So we go down. Ready? And listen to that a few times. Now, the most common mistake that you have to master, to, you have to avoid and learn how to do this properly, is not to lift this grace note. Many people, when it comes time to move, they do this. You know, they lift, they lift it. You've got to drop it down, down. It's a grace note stroke in every sense of the word. So here we go again. Ready, move. Ready, and. Now, it's also important to stop here for a moment so that your muscles have a chance to think, okay, from this moment in time, both sticks go down together, and the grace note strikes first. So be patient, go slow, start from this position, pause for a moment, and then drop both sticks. You can turn on your metronome. I like this pattern. You can do this with me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Now, I like to tell my students, you need to do a thousand of those. You know, five or ten minutes a day for a couple of weeks. You just keep doing that and doing that and doing that and hearing that proper flam, hearing the grace note accent stroke relationship, and executing those two motions correctly. You program that, program that into your muscles and into your ears, and it just becomes the way you play flams. And it's very important to go to the next step. Now, let's do a couple on the left hand. 
Everything's exactly the same for the left, so we don't need to do a ton of that. But let's start with the left hand up. Ready, go. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Just listen to that relationship between the flam and the principal stroke. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Now, do that a lot. Get that going, and you can go to the next step. Now, let's go to the second step of building the perfect flam. Very similar in concept, but we're going to, I call this switch stroke flams. You remember from switch stroke, in the preliminary stroke development exercises, one stick travels down while the other stick travels up. Well, that's what we're going to do, but we're going to add grace notes to it. So this is what it looks like. Ready, move. So when I play that downward motion, instead of just doing down up, I'm going to go down up and float up smoothly to accent height. Now I'm alternating hands, which is great because I can turn on my metronome and just work this, both hands together over and over and over again. So let's try this again. Ready? And ready and ready and ready and notice my grace note ready and it just falls straight ready and down up ready and down up now if you notice that last flam I didn't like that that was a little flat and I think I actually flinched a little on my grace note it messes up the timing let's do that left again I'll do it perfectly straight down Ready, and, that's the sound you want. Ready, and, ready, and. Now, take some acceleration. You gotta punch that accent stroke so you can get chut. Sometimes people will do this. You, know. you gotta play the accent. You gotta accelerate. It's that accelerating float stroke style motion. Let's try it again. Right hand up, left hand down. Ready, go, one, two, three. Okay? Now, that's easy to do, but you've got to have the patience and the self-awareness and honesty to really tell the truth of whether you're doing that right and you're getting the right sound. Listen for it if it's too open, or the most common thing is they're flat, you know? They're, sorry, it's, I can't even do a flat flam. Let's see. There you go. It's like, it's like you can't, or backwards. It's, you, You've got to drop the grace note in there. It's got to strike ahead of the principal stroke. And you've got to have punch in that accent so you get chut, chut. It has this bite to it. That's what makes the flam sound great. So work that individual hand, the snap stroke one. You know, what I really like the most to do, I said do a thousand of those. Yeah, you should do a thousand flams. But after you practice the snap stroke flam a little bit and you feel like you got that down, go on to the switch stroke flam. And that's the one you should do a thousand times, if not two thousand times. And it wouldn't take very long to do that many. You turn your metronome on to 90 beats a minute and play every four counts. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Just do this. Just listen and concentrate. Make sure there's no motion during the pause. Over and over and over and over again. And you will program that relationship between the grace note and your accent principal stroke into your muscles and your brain and your ear, and you will be great at flams. I've seen this work so many times for students who are willing to do that and master that individual single flam. I see so many people that just play flams and they think they're playing flams and it's terrible. And the biggest reason is because the grace note concept is completely wrong. So work that through. Now let's go to the third one. Once you've got that switch stroke flam happening very, very well, the next step, the third step to creating the perfect flam is to do alternating flams like switch stroke, but move continuously. So that would look like this. Just back and forth, back and forth. Now, <clears throat> I want to point something out that's very cool. When you do that, this is what each individual hand does. Tap an accent. 
right from the first exercise we did in um, two heights single strokes. It's just taps and accents. Accent, down, 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 down. This, that's the motion. Now, the craft and playing the flam is those, the motion of each hand, they overlap one another so that the grace note, the tap, serves as the grace note for the other accent. Then the tap on the next hand serves the grace note for the next hand's accent. So you've got to coordinate that. But if you practiced your flams, you should just be able to do that. Now I want you to notice one hand at a time. Watch my right hand. This is what it's doing. Left hand. If you practice the individual flam and you've got that relationship and you control your heights when doing that motion, you, you'll be able to do it very, very well. And the only time, I, I see two reasons that mess, two things that mess people up when they try to do that is they put their hands together and they lift the grace notes, they don't keep the grace notes down low, or they don't play the accent, the, the float stroke accelerating downward motion properly. They don't get the bite on their accent. So concentrate on your taps, nice smooth float stroke accelerating accent, and you'll have it. You can go a little bit slower if you need to. But for that to be functional, you have to at least go fast enough that your hands can move naturally, continually in a natural way. That's continuous alternating flam stroke. The last one, in some respects, is the most difficult one. And I call it float stroke flam. And this happens in real life a lot, so you have to be able to do it. We start with both sticks down. The right hand plays a float stroke. Smooth upward motion, accelerate downwards, and the left hand plays the grace note. Which means that the left hand has to remain motionless. If I go in slow motion, my right hand's going up, left hand does not move, left hand does not move. I reach the peak of the stroke, and then they both go down together, just like in the snap stroke flam or the switch stroke flam. So that takes some control. Watch my left hand. It does not move. It is so easy to do this. Even a little bit. This one goes up, this one wants to go up too. It's got to stay there. Float down. Float down. Concentrate on that other hand, or on the grace note hand. Okay, let's do the other hand. Right hand grace note, left hand float stroke. That's the secret. Your hand just has to do this. Down up, down up, and it's got to wait until the accent reaches its peak. Now, with that in mind, we've played, basically there's two situations that you play flams in, in most, most cases. Alternating, which we did, and then where both sticks are at a down position, and then the next note is a flam, you know. So you can practice, I put, if I, I put this basic exercise up here on the screen, it's just quarter note flams. We can do it all with the right hand, all with the left hand, and then right, left, back and forth. You can start slowly where you stop between every note, and then you can go more quickly where you move continuously. So for instance, let's go very slow and stop between each stroke, play all with the right hand, the first sticking option you see on the screen. One, two, three, four. One, two. Actually, let's go even slower than that. Ready? And one, two, three, four. So you just very slow. So you have to stop between each stroke and reinitiate motion from rest position. Then left hand. Then alternating.
Okay, those are all float stroke flans. That's what I call those. And it's just simply that you're not moving your sticks, you're not playing flans, and then you have to initiate and play a flan with the float stroke and the grace note. Practice that and get control over that. You'll see in a moment when we get to the more advanced flan movements why that's so absolutely essential. Now the next way to play this exercise that I've got here on the screen is to go more quickly where you move your hands continuously. Uh, so the first sticking version, think about this, the right hand is going to be playing kind of like multiple stroke, it's just continuous accents because they're so frequent. And the left hand has to drop its grace note stroke in, down up, down up, down up, down up. But the timing has to be just right, so it sounds like this. A little bit faster. Now if you think about it, each hand is moving continuously. But the timing relationship has to create a flam each time. Same thing with the left. And then alternating. Which is back to the switch stroke flam that we did before. So uh, drumming is a mastery of motions and if you think about the motions required to perform flams they are very few. There's the grace note and there's the accent stroke and you got to get control over the relationship between those two on the right and the left hand. Then you have the tap accent tap accent motion and you've got to coordinate those two motions together but it's still taps and accents. And then one-handed flams, you know, consecutive hand, flams on one hand. It's like multiple stroke. I mean, this is not a new motion. We've done this before. And this, we've done that before. So there's no new motions. It's just combining them together so with the grace note principal stroke relationship to create flams. And this is the first step. You've got to do this right. So go through each one of those steps, four steps to building the perfect flam. Do it exactly right, get comfortable with it, control your stick heights, play beautiful grace note, tap strokes, smooth float strokes, accelerate the accent, learn how to play flam. And then we'll go in to apply that to the real flam rudiments.